My name is James Williams Jr. And, you know, I just watched this like on the Today Show or whatever show it is about um, deleting Facebook posts and all this other stuff and things. Alright, so I'm going to get serious with y'all, like, in a New York minute. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my clothes on, as you can see. No. Batman Ninja Turtle combination. First and foremost, what I'm about to say, y'all should take it to heart because, truth be told, it's kind of a form of discrimination with the knowledge that I'm about to drop. Alright? And if you think about it, you find that the more you think about it, that I'm probably a lot closer to right than wrong. All right. So while watching that show, they were talking about deleting all of your Facebook posts, blah blah blah, etc. So here's what I have to say to future employers who are employing people, but then going against it because of some crap they've seen on Facebook. All right. I'm never gonna have a corporate job, so I can say this. It, it it would take a miracle from Jesus for me to actually have a corporate job. I'm more into the entertainment business and things like that. So, <laughs> sorry, text from Facebook. Anyway, as I was saying, I want you to think about this. And especially if you're looking to employ people, if you're a Facebook troll, but you're like the CEO or the owner of a company. Especially if you're not trying to hire somebody for some crap you're not seeing on Facebook that you yourself want to do, but don't have the testicular fortitude to do it. What we do on our own time ain't got nothing to do with the job that we have applied for or our qualifications of successfully doing the job. Let's make that abundantly clear first. Because truth of the matter is, if you want to drink a Jägermeister, and one of your friends posts that shit on Facebook, and you get to keep your job, why can't we? Seems like that's going to fall into the form of discrimination. And discrimination in itself is, is bad enough, but to discriminate a person because of something you see on their personal social media site that has nothing to do with the job that they have or have applied for should not be reasons for termination. You know, it shouldn't be. Like I said, I'm never going to get a corporate job. Ever. It's probably never going to happen. No one's going to look at these videos and say, yeah, we're going to hire this guy to represent us. I'm an actor. I'm an independent filmmaker. That's what I do. Am I making a good living at it? No. No. Am I even making a living at it? Hell no. Doesn't mean I don't want to, but here's the thing. You can't make a living at a job that you want to do in America if no one in America will give you the chance to shine. Or to give you a chance to prove, not only to yourself, but to everyone else, that you are worthy of their love and that you can do the job that you are setting out to do. In many of my videos, especially in my getting to know you section that you should probably check out, you know, I have said this. I've said this a thousand times. I'll say it a thousand more. Acting is not the hard part of being an actor. Getting discovered, getting someone who will give you a chance to prove that not only you can act to them, but you can act to yourself, is why a lot of people just give up. I'm on that road. There's not a day that goes by that I myself don't want to give up. There's a studio here in Virginia. I'm not going to promote them. I could have been working. I could have been doing what I wanted to do. But because of their discrimination against me for not being a member of SAG, this thing's probably going to snap. 
Hopefully it won't. Looks like it's gonna do okay. Let's see if we can get one more loop in. Yep, we're good. It didn't snap. Now let's put the other yellow one in last. Now, the problem is if I'm on Facebook and I become a social media star as towards being an actual real live working star, which I would prefer to be, you know, I'm going to be happy with that. You know, because then it will prove that my hard work has paid off. Now, if I elevate and become both, that's like a dream come true. <coughs> Excuse me. But here's the thing. For all the people in charge of corporations and shit like that. What I do on my social media site, what I do at home, what I do on my time, ain't got nothing to do with the job that you are hiring me to do. If you think that that's going to reflect your budget numbers, if I'm bringing in mad money for your company, if I want to drink a Jägermeister and I want to drink a Long Island iced tea and have that shit posted on Facebook, that ain't got nothing to do with my ability to do the job. The numbers speak for themselves. Now, what if I'm transitioning into a job? How much of a life do you not have that you got to go and troll me on Facebook to decide if you're going to give me a job? And then if you go back and say, well, why did you get fired for the other job? Oh, well, me and one of my coworkers got caught doing a nasty in the bathroom. Okay, that's a good reason to get fired. I'll own that. But let's say I got fired because my boss was a douchebag full of dick tips and decided, hey, I caught you on Facebook with that Jägermeister in your hand. You gotta go. We don't represent alcoholics. Two weeks later, this motherfucker's probably doing the same thing, but no photos, no phones, and things like that. You can't hide from the world now. There's nothing that you can hide from the world, really. There really isn't, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that out there all out honesty. There's nothing that you can hide from the world. Nothing. Because social media exists, there is nothing you can't hide from the world. As I said before in some of my videos, there very well may be naked pictures of me out on the internet somewhere. Because some of my Facebook page, pages, the groups that I'm in, we have all done nudity. Alright? Hey, I'm not going to hide anything because these videos are probably going to come back to keep me from getting a corporate job. But since I don't want a corporate job because I can't sit for more than two hours due to my hip replacement... Um, I'm okay with it. Now, if a corporate job like, like maybe like a soap opera, like Days of Our Lives, say, hey, James, we want to give you a job. We know that we're your favorite soap opera. We know you watch us religiously. And when you don't watch us, we know that you record us and you watch us and you really like the show. And we want to give you a role. There's just one problem. We've seen your Facebook posts and they up and decide, well, we can't give you a job because of everything that you've done on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I can accept that, but the problem is, that's like a load of shit. You know, if you don't want to get somebody the job, don't use Facebook and them as a clutch or a crutch to keep them from doing the job. You don't want to hire them, just don't hire them. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, if you're at a job interview and the interviewee, the person that's giving you the job, management, whatever the hell you want to call them, don't make eye contact with you. Within the first three to five minutes, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is you're going to have a lot of free time to look for another job. The bad news is you're not getting that job. And so this is why I say if, if you're like trolling us on Facebook and it's not letting us get a job, who the hell are you to decide what we can and can't do with our own personal time? It's our time. It's our lives. Having a job does not mean I can't have a life. It just means that I have a job, you know. It shouldn't be right that you are going on Facebook. Oh, let me let me let me see what James is doing. Okay. Oh, ah. So this fucker's um making videos and he's um posting up pictures on his Facebook page with him and the Jagermeisters or him hugging on like twenty five. Hey, that's my ex girlfriend, and that's a vindictive picture right there. It's going to come back to bite James in the ass. Cause I'm not going to hire this fucker because he's got his hands on my ex-girlfriend's boob or her butt. And now I'm feeling jealous. So now I'm going to make sure that when this guy comes in for this interview, he's not going to get the job. 
James can have all the credentials in the world. He can have a degree in whatever that job requires. And because you've seen him on Facebook, if his hands around a beer, or a Jägermeister, or a Long Island iced tea, or a margarita, or your ex-girlfriend's boobs or hands on her butt cheeks, now you want to be a douche. And I give him the job. That makes you a cock thistle and a shit swizzler. Because you're being temperamental about some shit that you can't change. Maybe he didn't even know it was your ex-girlfriend. No, those things happen. Everybody doesn't know everybody that you know. But I will say this. If you're trolling on Facebook and you're a boss, and you don't want to hire people because of some shit that they've posted on Facebook, you know, I can understand if it's something racist. No. If they're saying something racist, and you don't want to be associated with a racist in your building or whatever, that I understand. But if it's like some minor shit, you know, where he's on Facebook, he's got a Jägermeister or any other drink, and mine's favorite is vodka or a Corona. If, if he has any of them in his hands, and you decide, hey, let's not give this fucker the job, then you, my friend, have no life, and you're a douche. And they better not be a site where they can find you doing the same thing, because a good lawyer will bust your ass for discrimination. So you should probably take that into account while you're trolling people on Facebook to decide if you want to hire them or not. So somebody's living their life a little bit better than you. That's not their fault. That's yours. I'm James Williams Jr. Keep that in mind while you're out here trolling to prevent people from getting a job because you see they have a happy post on Facebook. Now, let me, re so I don't make half the second video, let me go to the negatives on this. Alright, first and foremost, the negative things that are on Facebook would be if they're calling out people by race and stuff. No. That's a whole horse of another color. But those are um those are things that you probably want to take into consideration. If I'm on Facebook calling white people out of their names or black people or Asian people out of their names, yeah, I'm probably not the person you want working at your front desk. If I'm going around hollering, um, if I'm going around calling people really bad racist names, you know, then I don't deserve to work for your company or any company. Uh, like the crying redneck had lost his job for coming to the Charlottesville Unite the Right thing and all the other crap. People like that, there are people you probably don't want on your job, even if you secretly are racist yourself. You know, there are some limits to the things that you have to take a stand to. Racism and things, yeah, you probably don't want somebody who's a bigot working in your company because you have to hire people. And you can't discriminate on people because of their color or their gender these days or your ass is going to be broke. So the negative things where, you know, if you have a Facebook or anything or any social media, first and foremost, you shouldn't post anything negative because most of the negative stuff is going to be the shit that come back to bite you in the ass. I keep all my dirt right here, right in front of everybody. If I tell you something, it's because I meant it. I can't take it back once it comes out my mouth. And truth be told, I have never lied to anybody here on YouTube. Like I said, there may be naked pics of me on Facebook in one of these damn groups that I'm in. I'm sure maybe all of these groups are in. I've probably sent them a naked pic. And I'm not the only one. I'm not guilty. But I'm 44 years old. I'm grown. And I can live with the decisions that I make. I just tell everyone else, before you make a stupid decision, that you should probably think that shit through. At my age, at this point in time, you're not going to find the pictures if you're not in the group. And if you're not in the group, and the group has rules. You're not allowed to share the pictures with anyone else on, online. Now, if they do that, then they're going to be kicked out of the group, and there's going to be ramifications. I don't know what those ramifications are, but at the same time, you know, if you're going to do something... You need to be responsible enough to own the decisions that you make. Alright? At my age, I don't have any kids. I don't have a career that I'm worried about right now. But if it's out here already, and you're watching this video, and you know that my shit's out here, then you can't use it to come back on me because I've already made it publicly known. Alright? Just like the people who are trying to blackmail me for seeing dick pics after they suckered me into it. Okay? Hey, 
you can't take nothing from somebody who ain't got nothing. They want to take money from the poorest man on earth. Hey, you're stupid. What are you going to do? Yeah, oh, we're just going to flash your dick all over the place. Okay, well, hell, I'm in groups where I've already done that. So pretty chicks can sucker a man in anything, and not to mention that she was also rubbing herself too. And I already put her name out there, so it doesn't really matter. So either she was hacked or she's a part of it. So whatever the deal is, what goes around comes around. And when you're out there doing evil to other people or not giving them jobs because of some shit that they done posted on Facebook, just remember, the other shoe will fall eventually. And karma, no matter what kind, good or bad, always slaps you in the face when you least expect it. And mostly that happens when everything is going really, really good for you then shit can go really, really bad in a heartbeat. So don't forget that while you're trolling on Facebook or any other social media site to not give a person a job who is probably very well qualified for that job, but you just want to be a douchebag full of dick tips and a cock thistle and a shit swizzler because you don't want to give them the job. I'm James Williams Jr. Just come having number two. B-C-U.